Okay, what do we have here? Affiliate partners. So I'll click on the affiliate partners. Let me see the other one you have. Credit card leads with appointments. Yeah, this is stuff that was like dropped in from you. Well, actually, no, you know what? These are, um... yeah, I guess she's doing that. I don't know. Click on the other one then. Credit pair leads with appointments. Click the other one. Credit pair pipeline. Okay, so let's delete the credit pair pipeline because you won't. This is the actual disputing, right? Yeah. Click on this real quick. I don't know who. Yeah. I I think think was... now, do you, have, you have fulfillment here, so I don't think you need that one. Click on fulfillment. What the fuck is fulfillment? That's, see, but these are from you guys. Do you see how we don't use them? You know what I mean? So let's delete them so it doesn't so we don't have it. Go to pipelines real quick. Yeah. I'm sorry. What did you say? Go to pipelines? Yeah. We're going to delete fulfillment and credit per pipeline. Okay, so cool. Fulfillment over here and delete. Yeah. I just want to have a one, just whatever we use, as long as it's not mixed with the with the warm guys. Exactly. Exactly. That'll exactly. get really weird. Okay, cool. <laughs> Make sure we have the proper automation to just bring the leads in here. So let's go to automation really quick. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah, this is where it gets hairy for me. Okay, cool. Client so, workflow over here. Click on client workflow. Or maybe it's uh, active client. Man, look at what I got with you. Jeez. <laughs> click on uh, uh, back here. Okay. Let's go to lead nurture. Okay. Let's be This one's cool, dude. This one brought me some people. Yeah, perfect. Like, happy birthday. Oh, yeah. My sister needs you. Like, <laughs> so crazy. So weird. I was like, wow. That's perfect. I'm glad something's working there. Click yeah. on the back over here. Uh, click back. I'm to find one specific one here. It's a little... Okay. I don't know if we're missing it or something. Maybe... <clears throat> more close. Basically, form one dot email form set up one initial flow. I don't know who Eliza is. That's from somebody else drop in. Eliza is a AI bot that can schedule appointments for you. Oh, okay. A Facebook lead form completed. So let's just click on this real quick. Okay. I feel like this might be similar. And when let's get started. Follow quick call, schedule a free consultation. Yeah, if, uh... Oh, this is perfect. 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 So click on, yeah, click on this form submitted on the top. Okay. Form is so yeah, we're can uh click off of that. Okay. If you can. All right, click on form is select over here. Oh shit. Oh, form submitted form is. Where is that one that we have? The one we were messing with? Yeah, we have a lot of forms. There. Oh shit. Schedule. Um yeah. I don't remember which one it was. No idea. Um let's uh Close this out real quick. We can figure let's figure it out real quick. Should we open another one? Let me open another one. I'll come back to it. With the tab, yeah. That'd be great. <clears throat> yeah, just search out that form really quick. Okay. Uh, it's in is it in automation? No, it's in sites. Right? Sites? Uh yeah, it's in sites. Sites and then top right is forms over here. Oh. Not top right, top middle or something. Like builder. New is it? Is that what it is? The new credit? I don't know. I don't think so. No. Hey, go, go to the funnel real quick. Let's see what it is. We we'll just click on it. You have so many forms there. Holy shit! I know. I gotta clean this up, and I'm so OCD. It makes me like. Tell, tell Abbas to clean it up. He said, look how many. Yeah. Well, I don't know if he know. Maybe he could. I'm just so scared of deleting the stuff that I got from you for whatever I pay. I don't know. I'm like, oh, it might be useful one day. It's already built out. And I just don't, you know, I'm not well versed in it yet. So I don't want to delete like a six page. Awesome. Mm -hmm. You know. All right. What uh, the one right we there? did. I think the one we did. Carver funnel. Yeah, it was this one with the picture with the car with the weird looking car. OK, so. Uh, click Edit here, so we just can see the form. What edit page. Edit page. <clears throat> you can see the name of the form that we have on here. Yeah, see, I'm I'm not connecting how we're getting to this. <laughs> no worries. We're just going to find the name of this form. Scroll down a bit. Click on the form. Scroll down. I click on that form. Scroll up a bit. 
Scared no, scroll, scroll up a bit. That's the button. Scroll up a bit. Oh, there's okay. On that form, yeah. So let's New put credit some... repair form. Okay, so that's fine. Should we rename it? No, no, no don't worry about that. It's, uh, it's capital. Check on the pop-up pop real quick. I want to confirm that they're both the same forms. So here is the um, here's the the form, and then you click on the pop up really quick because you have two forms on this page. How do I get to the pop up right here? Top left. Oh, oh, hold on. Let me go back to the form. So click here. Okay, we got new credit form, and then pop up is over here. All right. Click on that. Um. On here, new credit form. So they're both the same. Perfect. Let's okay. go back to the other tab to where we are in the workflows. So this one is form is new credit form. So if you want to type in just new credit form. All right. Yeah, perfect. Got it. Uh, save trigger. Click on save that trigger if it loads. There we go. Okay, cool. And then we're going to wait. All right, cool. Trigger Facebook lead ad form submit. Click on that. So this is whenever you do a lead form, it's going to pop into here. Don't worry about it. Press X. Um, let's add over here on top of this pipeline. Type in opportunity. Right there, the first one. Oh, go back. Delete some stuff. The you keep on going. Delete, delete, delete. Right there, the first one. Update opportunity. Select pipeline. Oh. Um, yes. Select pipeline here. No worries. Yeah. Select pipeline. Um, this is going to be credit pair leads with appointments. Um, and then the next one is going to be in pipeline stage. It's going to be leads, new leads. Perfect. Boom. All right. Press save action. Let's do one more thing so that you can get notified every single time a new lead comes in. Right. I'll press plus. That's to type in notification here, N O T. Right there. Send internal for notification. What we can do is we can send you an internal notification via SMS or email. I usually do SMS. Um, to use your type, press on that. Custom number. And I would just type in your, your mobile number right there. So you can just get Jack. So you can get direct text messages whenever a new lead comes in. Click on, the, uh, don't worry about that. Save uh, action. No, no, press on custom values first. Contact, full name. Oh, shit, yeah. Full name, just became a new credit repair lead. Type it in there. Just became a new credit repair lead. Perfect. All right, and I would also do press enter or return and press custom values to get their phone number under there. Yeah, fuck yeah. Uh, contact uh, phone right there. So if you're ever on the move, you get this notification, you get the phone number, like just call it right up, you know, okay. uh, if you want to. Uh, press save action. So now this is what this is going to do is every single time a new lead comes in, it's automatically going to send you a, a message saying, hey, new credit pair lead. And what's also doing is it's going to send you, it's going to move that lead onto that pipeline opportunity of new leads. Uh, what I recommend you do is that you just go through these emails and text messages, just look at them. Right, right, right. That they're what you want the, so that make sure that the copy that you want um press publish though Sweet. So oh shit i hit saved of course press x click publish and then save again oh yeah okay publish and save. Save. let's go back to workflows okay all right cool let's also do ebook so this is the facebook lead form let's click on back here Let's go to scheduling workflows. Let's go to appointment notion, appointment schedule, appointment schedule. All right, this one here, appointment schedule. Well, these are the ones that are coming in from my job form. Should I um Let's swap it real quick? Yeah. Click on this. Appointment uh, schedule confirmed two hours prior. Okay. This one is going to be used for when they actually schedule an appointment. So what we're going to do is click on appointment really right quick on the top. Event type appointment status is normal. It's also also excuse me. Add new workflow trigger. Do customer booked appointment. Right there, first one. Just leave it like that. Save trigger. So whenever somebody books an appointment, it's automatically going to pop this out. Uh, click on the plus over here. Uh, actually, uh, create opportunity. My bad. You already have it here. Click on create opportunity. 
just want to make sure it goes to the right section. All right, free concept book. Perfect. What's that doing? It's pretty much just updating the pipeline. Let's also check out one more. Uh, let's add one more thing on the very top over here and press plus. What we're going to do is we're going to do remove from all workflows. So type in remove there. This way we're not spamming these people with multiple workflows when they're already in this one. Remove from all workflows. Yeah. Uh, untick that, include in current workflow, untick that. Perfect. And then press save action. So it's basically going to reset all their workflows so they only have this one now because they booked. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Okay. It's also do, I mean, if you want, what I do is also a notification here as well. I like notifications. Book, yeah. So I'll press on the plus over here, type in notification. N-O-T-I-F right there. No, this client just booked a call. Type a notification. SMS once again. You know the deal. User type, custom number. Uh, uh, assign you, what is it? Custom number? Okay. Custom number, yep. Uh, type in your number there. Cool. Custom uh, contact, phone name, just booked an appointment. An appointment at booked an appointment at and then custom values click on appointment start date and time yep and maybe add the phone number after a new paragraph phone number custom values cool save action excellent then i would just after that like i said just look at this is it's pretty simple i'll scroll down a bit where do when do when and where do I add the tags that are like, hey, Facebook lead instead of like my warm people? Or I don't need to worry about that throughout all we were doing. Uh, tags of a Facebook warm. What do you mean by that? So where can I put? I noticed like when we're clicking on this, that my girl is already using with our current people. She's trying to get used to go high level and she's using some of the automations in here. And so when they, whenever anybody books an appointment with me through my normal, like the warm leads right now in the job form. I tagged it through Pab Pabli where it actually starts there. It drops them into go high level, creates an opportunity, and then it starts them on this same campaign. It's not going to mingle them with what we have right now, or, or we want that. We want that because it's only going to be in the, in the, um, the, what is that thing called where you move people over through different stages? A we pipeline? Want, yeah. So we want them in the same pipeline. We just want to be, be able to separate them later with a tag. So okay, I want to so add a tag that's, Click on add contact tag real quick. Okay. So whenever they go into this workflow, it's automatically to add that to this. But you're saying on Pabli is it's you want to you want to differentiate if they come from Pabli or they come from Go High Level kind of right. I just want to make sure that I'm always able to separate my, you know, my current warm leads from this Facebook, like at all, I guess, so, I guess it's cool to see like money coming in. Right. Cause the person who books a calendar and they're going to pay a thousand, it's what it is, what it is. But I just want to make sure with like automations and stuff like that, that I'm not, I guess, I, I guess I see what's going on. We're building so this on, one out. On Pabli, what you could do is if you integrate Pabli with a, with a zap to put into here on the actual Zapier, you can add a, a tag on there saying, warm lead from Pavli so that every single person that they book an appointment, you're going to see on their contact thing saying, Hey, warm lead from Pavli as the, one of the tags yeah, or Facebook. Yeah. Warm lead or Facebook. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. So, yeah, yeah. I'll do that. Okay. Uh, you know how to do that? Let me show you that. No, it's, it's okay. I'll handle that later. I'm actually going to go in and do that. I know what you mean. I can do it in here. I don't think I need to go all the way back to Pavli, but I think okay. when it comes in to go, high, I know what you're saying. I know. Cause I have a tag that I set up over there. Okay. Save. All right, save action, yep. Uh, press save on the top right. I would always just make sure you go over this. If you haven't already, make sure that it is like confirmed two hours prior and it has like appointment reminders on here as well. Um, if you scroll down really quick, uh, so I can briefly take a look. Oh, shit. So there's a big one over here. Oh, yeah, this is the confirm. Oh, confirm and stuff with the yes or no. Do you understand how to use the yes, no's and stuff? Yeah, I watched a couple of videos on it, and uh, I, I get what's going on here. I can't go through it too quick. I'm pretty slow. I'd like to stop the video, come over, stop the video, but I totally get what's going on here. I, right, so, but you understand what's going on here, right? I understand exactly what's going on, okay. the conditions. Perfect. Yep. So let's, let's skip over this, go over to back to workflows. There's only work on your weaknesses, I guess. 
or what you don't know, please, you know this. So yeah. I'll go back okay. to the close real quick. Workflow.